Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you my evening routine. This is the routine that I've been doing in the summer months and I've really been enjoying it. I'm going to show you how I kind of wind down my skincare routine and what I do to get ready for the next day. So if you want to see my evening routine, then please keep watching. So my tea has been steeping for several minutes now, so I'm just going to take my tea bag out. And then I'm going to add this Trader Joe's coconut creamer. It's a non-dairy creamer and I just really love this. So I'm gonna get a good amount of that in there because honestly, I like the tea black, but I like adding the creamer because it cools it down faster so I can drink it and enjoy it with my cookies. Oh, and by the way, I showed this already, but the tea I'm drinking is this decaf Irish breakfast from Trader Joe's. I like love Irish breakfast tea but I just can't drink caffeine like that. And especially at night, it has to be decaf. So I've been loving this and just having like a nice warming drink is kind of nice. And then these chocolate chip cookies are super delicious. And since they're kind of like dry and crispy, they go really well with the tea. In the evenings, I like to diffuse some essential oils and lavender is my favorite. And I also like it because as far as I know, it's safe around pets and we have a dog, so that's always good. So I have this little diffuser that I'm gonna turn on. And it looks like a pumpkin, so cute. And then I'm gonna turn on the other one as well. Just gotta get the lid on here. And then this one lights up. And now we're good to go. Since we have the essential oils going as well, I figured that I would light a few candles. I haven't really been doing this lately. Usually when it's cooler out, I do it every night. Um, but since it's like hot and summery, I haven't been doing it as often. The other thing I do in the evenings is turn on the salt lamps and it just really sets the mood on my nightstand here. So we're gonna get cozy and obviously it's still light out but as it gets darker, this will like make the whole room glow and it's just so relaxing in the evenings. So my routine lately has been watching Downton Abbey, especially in the evenings, but really all day, every day because I'm obsessed with it. I'm watching it through again. So I'm on season two, episode seven. So I'm just gonna drink my tea and have my little cookies in bed while I watch some Downton Abbey to wind down at the end of the day. Another thing I do every evening when the next day is a weekday morning is set out my gym clothes. So tomorrow's Monday, so I definitely am going to the gym. So I have my pants, my sweatshirt, sports bra, shirt, and then I also have my shoes and socks ready to go here as well as my gym bag is packed right there. So it really makes the mornings go a lot smoother. Now it's time to kind of get ready for bed. In addition to brushing my teeth, obviously I'm gonna do my skincare routine, so I have all my products here to show you. First of all, I'm just gonna remove my makeup with this um, micellar water. I am only wearing tinted moisturizer, brows, and mascara today, so there's not a lot to take off. If I had a full face on, I would use my like makeup eraser cloth first and then this, but today I have minimal makeup, so I'm just gonna go in with this. And then the Ula Henriksen Wonderfield Double Cleanser is what I'm using as my nighttime cleanser at the moment. I'm really enjoying it. And then for eye cream, I have this little sample um, of the Revision DEJ eye cream, which I've only used once, but I'm planning to use it again tonight for my eye cream. And then this Ula Henriksen Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner, which I think is really making a difference in my skin. I've really been enjoying trying this, so going with that for toner. And then for moisturizer, just um, organic rosehip seed oil, which I buy on Amazon. I use this every single night and I really like it and my skin really agrees with it. And then I also use Epiduo, which is a prescription, but that's what I've been doing just to treat my acne. So I thought I'd be honest and show you guys. There's no like crazy retinol or anything. This is my routine. And then one other thing I brought in here to show you guys are these like melatonin gummies from Target. These are the Ollie Restful Sleep gummies and they have melatonin, L-theanine, and botanicals in it. So you just take two of these, I believe, and, which is what I do. And then it really helps me like get sleepy and stay asleep. To, on tonight's like, the, like this where I kind of had a really lazy day so it's time to go to bed because I need to wake up early tomorrow but I'm just not feeling super sleepy and ready for bed. So I'm just going to take two of these now and then do my skincare. So by the time I finish all my skincare and everything it'll be like 20 minutes from now and these will be kicking in and I can lay down and go to sleep. So some of the final steps to my nighttime routine is definitely this Laneige Sleeping Lip Mask, which I put on my lips every night. And I also recently added this L'Occitane um, Cuticle Oil. It's one of the ones that has a little brush on the end. I'll show you. So it looks like this. It's just got a little brush and you paint it on your cuticles to moisturize them at night. And I've been finding that this is really helpful because I have pretty dry cuticles. 
And then the last thing I'm going to do before bed is, of course, wrap up in my leopard blankie, which you guys will know I am, like, literally obsessed with. So this is my Barefoot Dreams leopard blankie, which I sleep with every night. And I'm also in the middle of a C.S. Lewis book, so I'm just going to read a few pages and then fall asleep. All right, you guys, this has been my evening routine. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the morning.